Tonight, a group of local organizations is launching a new hotline tomorrow to put immigrant families at ease in the wake of recent ICE raids. Church and immigration advocates are now setting up a hotline for people who feel threatened. CBS 13's Macy Jenkins is live at the Sacramento County Sheriff's Department with much more on what this new hotline will do. Macy. Well, Adrian and Sam, it's called the Rapid Response Hotline, and the main goal here, local activists don't want immigrant families to feel alone. See a van, a white van, and they'd be so scared, and they would let everybody know. Fear in immigrant communities still growing in Sacramento, and Gabby Trejo says it's gotten worse since Donald Trump was elected. She's the associate director of Sacramento area congregations together, one of several organizations launching a hotline for immigrant families who feel threatened by ICE. People are taken in the middle of the night in the darkness, and nobody's actually witnessing. This is how it works. Anyone can dial the number 24 hours a day. They can verify whether or not an ICE raid is actually happening, and they can also request a legal observer be present during an interaction with immigration officers. All we are doing is verifying and bearing witness to ensure that people's rights are being actually um, respected. But former Sacramento County Sheriff John McGinnis says there's a broad range of potential there. And he would hate to see anyone illegally derail a case. If they are actually arrestable based upon a court order and others are interfering or obstructing with uh, law enforcement personnel in the efforts to, to do that, and they violate the law. Trejo says the volunteers have been trained not to step in. We would not be interfering in any way with law enforcement or an arrest because we understand that ICE still has to do their job. Even so, Gabriela Busio says many families in her community may be reluctant to call a stranger for help. I can trust only myself. I cannot trust them because I don't know you, I don't know the people, so I know only me. Now, the hotline is completely funded by the organization using no federal money. More than 50 volunteers are expected to donate their time towards this. And Trejo says should anyone be taken away, the volunteers will help that family figure out what to do next. All right, Macy, thanks so much. Live for us tonight in Sacramento, a very hot topic throughout California. And tomorrow night,